station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Kayla LaFrance. This week, the space station crew went on two spacewalks as part of a marathon of extravehicular tasks to upgrade the station. On Sunday, NASA astronauts Christina Cook and Andrew Morgan teamed up and ventured out of the Quest airlock for a seven hour and one minute spacewalk. The pair of spacewalkers kicked off the latest round of upgrades to the station's external batteries, swapping out nickel hydrogen batteries with the new lithium ion ones. Working at the P6 truss on the outer reaches of the station, the duo of spacewalkers relocated three of the old nickel hydrogen batteries, installed two new lithium ion batteries, and integrated an adapter plate to one of the new batteries. Cook and Morgan ventured outside again on Friday to continue their battery replacement work at the P6 truss site. On this EVA, Morgan was in the EV1 role and led the two as they installed more lithium ion batteries and their adapter plates while relocating nickel hydrogen batteries for storage or disposal. There are three more spacewalks planned to finish the work before the month is out to complete the power upgrade. Be sure to tune in to NASA TV on October 16th at 6.30 a.m. Eastern to watch NASA astronauts Andrew Morgan and Jessica Meir partner up for the next planned EVA. This week's question comes from Paula Vargas, who asked if there was any special responsibilities with being EV-1 versus EV-2. EV-1 is usually the more experienced crew member. EV-1 will operate the EV, or extravehicular hatch, while EV-2 will operate the UIA, or the umbilical interface assembly, which is the interface between the airlock and the spacesuits. When we have multiple spacewalks, like right now, the crew will switch those roles so that multiple crew members can gain experience opening the EV hatch. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag AskNASA. We'll see you next week.